what's uh, what's this process been like getting back into the Clemson frame of mode? Uh, you know, it's been great. I mean, obviously, um, you know, going down to University of South Florida, that was a yeah, busy uh, nine days and uh, got a lot done there. But really, uh, I had the mindset that I wanted to, whenever I came back to Clemson, I really wanted to put all my focus uh, on our team here and uh, be able to finish the, the season the right way. And, you know, I've been able to do that. I've been really uh, happy the way that our players have responded. You know, they were happy for me and uh, also have the opportunity to come back and, and finish the season the right way is something that usually you don't get the opportunity to do when you take a head coaching job. So I'm um, just very fortunate and really kind of soaking all this in and, uh, you know, ready for Saturday. Probably as unique as a balance you've ever had to do Yeah, you know, I think the reason that uh, it's been really smooth is just because Coach Sweeney and the leadership at Clemson, Dan Radakovich, and then, you know, Michael Kelly over at USF, really everybody's on the same page. And, um, you know, USF has a lot of respect for uh, our program here at Clemson. And uh, so they, they didn't want to do anything that would uh, maybe slow us down or affect the playoffs. So I think with both groups agreeing and being on the same page, it's made it easier for me. And, uh, you know, I think for this is what I'm used to, right? The last, whatever, five years, this is what we've been doing. So it really doesn't feel uh, out of the norm uh, for me at this time. Your dad had to do this in 1993. Has he related? I mean, I know he's been yeah. a great resource yeah. for you down there, but he related yeah. some of what he was doing. Yeah, it, it's, uh, you know, I remember that. I was 13 years old, so I remember a lot of that. Um, and, you know, it's a different time, but also, you know, that was when we left Florida to come to South Carolina. You know, we've been in South Carolina for 25 years, and so now it's kind of coming full circle, uh, leaving South Carolina to go back to Florida. And, you know, the biggest thing is just, hey, you know, whatever you're doing at that time, if you're game planning, put all your focus into that, and then there'll be other times to uh, kind of get focused on South Florida, and so that's really uh, where I am right now. From the standpoint of your first, uh, your first head coaching run was very successful. <laughs> Much different level, long yeah. ago, far away, but I mean, does anything go pull from the memory bank that can maybe help you in this transition? Yeah, I think so. You know, I mean, it's, it's definitely a, a different level, but, you know, it was probably a similar situation where you're going into a program that needs a little bit of uh, hope, a little bit of belief, and really getting everybody on the same page and kind of sharing your vision and the uh, energy that, that comes with that. There's definitely some things that I can uh, carry over from that. I'm not sure that I could have a repeat performance in the uh, very first year, but uh, there's no doubt that that experience uh, at a young age, I think, has helped prepare me uh, for this uh, experience at, at a much larger stage. And you mentioned, I mean, yeah, you're a South Carolinian as they come. I mean, that's, you know, you and, and you've known Clemson as a player and, and then as a coach for the better part of those 25 years. A great bond for you, but from a personal standpoint, and in your wife with her Clemson yeah. connection, and what's that been like now trying to realize you're pivoting to something new? Yeah, you know, it, uh, you know, for the last few years, I felt like this day was probably going to come at some point, and probably my biggest worry or concern would be, you know, kind of that battle going on, do you leave or do you stay? And uh, this has been a unique experience, different than what I expected, in that I have a peace in knowing that this is the opportunity that I really need to take and is the right opportunity. But at the same time, I have a very, uh, you know, kind of heartfelt, uh, you know, feeling going on leaving a place that's so special as Clemson. And Clemson's not just special to me because of the 12 years that I've been coaching here or whenever I played here, but really all the way back to 1998 when my dad got let go at South Carolina. You know, and there was, you know, that's a very difficult time for our family. Three days later, he gets the opportunity to come to Clemson. And the last, you know, 20 years have been absolutely incredible uh, for our family. And, and it will be for a long time. Speaking of your dad, how big is it to have somebody like that to keep kind of run things in your absence? Yeah, uh, absolutely. That's huge. You know, I've been able to watch uh, Coach McCorvey uh, here, Woody McCorvey here at Clemson, what he's been able to do for Coach Sweeney since Coach Sweeney took over. And uh, that was something my dad and I talked about. And I wasn't sure if a head coaching opportunity was going to come early enough before my dad officially retired. And so when this opportunity presented itself, it was one that, you know, my dad and I both knew uh, would be really good timing. And, you know, I mean, I've, my dad's been through it, been a head coach, and, uh, you know, also has a lot of ties in Florida. He's been instrumental here at Clemson in a, a support role from an administrative perspective. And, uh, you know, as a head coach, 
your day is so busy you can only be at one you know one place at a time so to have somebody else that can be doing things uh, in your absence I think will really help uh, in that transition. Talk a little bit about Tyler and what you've done over the years to prepare him and what you think he'll do with this. Yeah team. I was telling Tyler he's a lot more prepared uh, to go coach wideouts than I was when I took over in 2009. I mean number one Tyler you know played under coach Sweeney and also I had an opportunity to coach him He's been here, he's done a great job in a support role. And uh, you know, he was ready to be honest, probably four or five years ago, he was ready to go on the field. He had some other opportunities, but he really wanted to wait here on this opportunity, knowing that you know the time would come at some point that I would probably leave and he would have that opportunity. But um, very diligent, hard worker, uh, knows the position inside and out, knows our offense inside and out, has a great relationship with the players. And, you know, that's, that was one of my message to my wide receivers whenever I told them ahead of time that I was going to be leaving is I said even though it's difficult for me to leave you guys because of my relationship with you there is a peace in knowing that I'm leaving you guys in great hands with uh, coach Grisham because he's going to pick up right where I left off and, and hopefully take it even a, a notch higher. I know you made the time to contact the guys that were committed at receiver and give them a message. Can you share a little bit of that with us? Yeah, you know, the, the big, I, I wanted to get ahead of the, the news that was coming out that I was leaving. Um, and, you know, I, I contacted uh, both EJ and, and uh, Joe, Joe, and basically, you know, let them know what was happening. And then the biggest message I, I gave them is that the same reasons you chose Clemson are still there. And that's, you know, Coach Sweeney, the culture, the environment, uh, the offense, all those things. And, you know, I, I talked to them, them a little bit about Coach Grisham and how he was prepared to take over and how, you know, I look forward to, to watching them, uh, you know, continue the, the legacy at wide receiver at Clemson in the years to come. And I think they appreciated that I reached out to them, you know, before it hit the news. And I was very pleased to see that neither of those guys, uh, you know, looked around and they were fully committed. And I think they're both going to have big careers at Clemson.